Hey there, this is Teacher Lab Podcast, episode 127. What are you waiting for? Questions with prepositions. My name's Ola and I'm an online English teacher. I teach through one-to-one classes and I want you to know I believe you can eliminate your language blockade. It's 100% guaranteed. I'm not saying it'll be given to you on a silver platter, yet I know you can get there. I've overcome a massive blockade myself and I know how to do it. The secret word here is consistency. That is why I record this podcast episode and each comes with a little worksheet and one pager to help you digest and test what you've practiced here. You can speak English with more confidence, slay that fear and enjoy new freedoms. Each episode helps you practice speaking. The practical part is always there at the end of the of each episode. You'll boost your vocabulary, brush up your grammar and improve your pronunciation. Go to my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. They're free. Happy learning! Hello again, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. I hope you'll find what you need and stay with us. Today we are talking about one tiny grammar point, tiny but tricky. Asking questions is tough, but asking questions with prepositions at the end is even worse. I hate to sound negative. I always believe that communication comes first. You get your confidence through practice and making mistakes, but we also uh, want to improve learn, evolve. I hope all I do here is to inspire you to grow, want more, get more, feel free and develop. So this episode was in demand for a while. I got a few requests, so here we are. Before we jump in, don't forget to stay till the end where we're going to practice. Check it out because today it is not repeating sentences out loud. Secondly, please visit my shop and buy a worksheet set. Lastly, Tell someone about my podcast, preferably someone who needs to improve their speaking skills. Eliminate a language blockade. And finally, yeah, one more, stay in touch with me. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe wherever you are, be it Spotify, iTunes or YouTube. Download worksheet 127. It's waiting for you at teacherola.com forward slash 127. Let's begin with one question. I'm fairly sure you know the answer. However, questions with prepositions can be super tricky. This specific question somehow is easy. The question in question is czego szukasz? Say it in English. Say it out loud. What are you looking for? Look, this question is really complicated. First of all, it's an open question. You need to remember the order of the words. What are you, not what you are. And secondly, it contains a phrasal verb to look for, looking for. So we need to understand that the preposition doesn't start the question like it does in Polish. For what are you looking? It, that's just incorrect. Or another example, with who, about what for what, from who, and so on. I don't want you to memorize or repeat those examples because they're incorrect. Of course, it's still communicative, but not always. I'm here to explain the rule, show some highly useful examples, invite you to practice out loud and download a worksheet to practice. Listen to those examples. What are you angry about? Who are you angry with? What are you looking for? What is she afraid of? Well, there's not much theory really to present you here. All you need to do is ask a question in a standard way, but push that preposition to the very end of that sentence. I believe we struggle so much with those questions. Just like we struggle with all kinds of questions, asking questions is tough. First of all, when we're at school, time for a lesson is limited. We don't have time to ask questions. To be honest, there's very little time for speaking. Usually the speaking practice exists only in the form of reading the dialogue out loud, sort of role playing, but reading in fact. There's sometimes a little time to discuss something in pairs, but in reality, it doesn't work. Of course, sometimes it looks different, but generally there's no time to waste on speaking. Horrible. But don't get me going about the Polish educational system. We don't want to go there. As adults, I reckon we continue to avoid asking questions for the fact that we want to stay out of the limelight. Our comfort zone is called like so for a reason. When you approach someone and ask a question, you want to you wanna be understood, right? You are the person who gets all the focus there is. Ain't that true? 
That's because when you're asking a question, people look at you, listen to you carefully, and that is not comfortable, especially if you have a language barrier. We don't know for sure how to make those questions, and we are so self-conscious, afraid of making a mistake, that fear keeps us from taking action. Vulnerability. We don't want to be judged, exposed, but that's not the topic of today's episode. (laughs) Getting back to questions with prepositions. We use questions with prepositions when we want to ask about the element that is in affirmative, in an affirmative positive sentence after a preposition. Stay with me, I know how it sounds, but just look at the example. I was waiting for Adam, for Adam. Adam is this element we want to ask about, so the preposition for must come at the end of the question. I was waiting for Adam changes into who are you waiting for? It is technically possible to start the question with a preposition, but the problem is it is going to sound extremely formal. For instance, to whom the bell tolls? For what purpose have you come here? I mean, come on, in daily life you don't need that. Today's practice will differ from what we normally have here. In a standard podcast episode, you would now expect some sentences to repeat out loud. So, today, that's not going to (laughs) happen. Instead, I'll give you an affirmative sentence about Adam, and your task is to formulate a question about Adam, okay? So, first you'll hear a sentence, then there will be some time for you to think of your question, say the question out loud, then you'll hear the correct answer, okay? Don't repeat the sentence about Adam. Ask a question with a preposition at the very end. Please focus, don't multitask, it's not gonna work. You'll only waste your time and get frustrated as a result. So, let's get down to it. One, I'm laughing at Adam. Who are you laughing at? Two, I sold my Tesla to Adam. Who did you sell your Tesla to? Three, they talked about Adam. Who did they talk about? Four, They have gone to Adam's house. Whose house have they gone to? Five. My family doesn't approve of Adam. Who doesn't your family approve of? Six. This journal belongs to Adam. Who does this journal belong to? 7. I have never argued with Adam. Who have you never argued with? 8. I pride myself in trying to be a good human to Adam. What do you pride yourself in? 9. I sent these pictures to Adam. Who did you send these pictures to? 10. I'm complaining about Adam. Who are you complaining about? Good job. Thank yourself for showing up today. The hardest part is to show up. Now, go to your inbox and grab the worksheet. If you're not a member of Top People, download it from teacherola.com forward slash 127. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, as always, please leave your rating in iTunes or Spotify, because now it's possible, if you can, share, comment, like, do whatever you can to help this podcast stay afloat. 
If you want to hear more from me, show some support, please tell someone about this podcast and help me spread the message. All I want to do here is really just reach as many people with speaking English issues as possible and make them believe speaking fluently is for everyone. Be here next Wednesday, same time, same place. We'll talk about vocabulary. Thanks for listening. Take care. Happy learning. Stay fearless and say it out loud. Bye-bye.